Are you dealing with plantar fasciitis? In this video, we'll go over taping, stretching, and strengthening exercises, all for plantar fasciitis. Plantar fasciitis presents as pain on the bottom of the foot, which is worse with the first few steps after inactivity, whether that's getting out of bed first thing in the morning or getting out of your chair after you've been sitting at the computer for a long period of time. And the pain is generally localized near the heel, but we can experience pain anywhere where the plantar fascia runs. A best practice article published in the British Journal of Sports Medicine laid out three core treatments that should be included for plantar fasciitis, and they included education, low dye taping, and stretching. The education component is really tailored towards the individual, but in general it includes selecting comfortable footwear, so avoiding sandals and high heels which might aggravate the plantar fascia and selecting footwear that's a little bit more supportive, but it also includes advice on load management strategies, so avoiding sudden spikes in loading for the plantar fascia, which might mean that we have to tailor our running program or our walking or hiking schedules. The low dye tape job is a common method to provide some support to the foot. There's a couple of different variations that we can use, but the main goal is to make sure that we have some tape along that medial arch. So generally we'll have one longer strip and we're gonna use it to wrap around the ankle. And so we'll start on the back side of the foot and then we're gonna have one strip that's going to run along the inside part of the foot here. Make sure that you don't have any wrinkles as you apply the tape. And then the second part here is gonna just be on the outside part, same thing. Just make sure that you don't have any wrinkles. And then the next part here, we'll have some smaller strips. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna anchor it to the outside part of the foot and then we're gonna take the tape and we're gonna go along to the inside part of that arch and then gently just kind of push up and pull and then place the tape down and then we'll have a second piece here. Same thing, we're just gonna go up the foot a little bit more here, same thing. Anchor on the outside part of the foot and then along the bottom and then a little pull up and so for the bottom part, we want to make sure that we don't have any wrinkles there. And then give it a little rub just to make sure that the tape sticks to the skin. And then that's our low dye tape job for plantar fasciitis. Stretching the plantar fascia is pretty simple. What we'll do is we'll take our leg and we're going to cross it over the other. We're going to take our hand and grab at the base of the toes and then gently pull those toes into extension and pull the foot up towards the shin. We can take our other hand and just feel on the bottom of the foot to make sure that we're stretching that plantar fascia. We want to hold this for 10 seconds and repeat for three sets and then we'll perform this three times per day and it's important that we do this before we start loading the plantar fascia so before we get out of bed or after we've been sitting at the computer for long periods of time so that way we're gently stretching that tissue out before we start loading it. Another exercise that we could do for the foot is working on our toe dexterity and so what we're going to do is we're going to try to just lift these four toes up off the ground keeping our big toe on the ground. And so we're just working on those extensor muscles here. And so we want to try to keep our ankle in neutral and not roll too far as we lift those toes up off the ground. We just want to try to move the toes. And then we're going to do the opposite where we're going to keep those four toes on the ground and then lift up our big toe here. And then back down and then switch and then up and then switch. And so it's not easy but working on it will help. If you need a little bit of uh, uh, feedback, what you can do is you can use your hand, push your big toe down to the ground, and then try to lift up those four. Since we're in shoes a lot, usually this motor pattern is just lifting all the toes up off the ground. So if we put our hand on our big toe, we can start to train just lifting up those four toes, and then the opposite, lifting up that big toe, and then holding down those four little toes. And then once we're able to do that, we can actually just use a exercise band to increase the resistance. So we can bring that band up and then push down the big toe, trying to keep those little toes down on the ground. And then obviously we can just switch it. So now we're working on the four toes, trying to make sure that they're all on the band there, and then just working on pushing them down into the ground. 
that'll help strengthen the muscles on the bottom of the foot. And to further increase the load on the plantar fascia, we can progress to some heel raises. And so we'll want to perform these over four seconds. So it's two seconds up off the ground, and then two seconds back down to the ground. When we're also doing these, we want to make sure that we're not wearing shoes and that we're barefoot. That way it'll further challenge the muscles around the foot and ankle. And so two seconds up, and then two seconds back down. And then to further increase the challenge, we can either use a weight with those heel raises, or we can switch to a single leg heel raise, where we're still going two seconds up, and then two seconds back down. If we need to, we can always use a wall for balance. That way we can do the exercise without worrying too much about balance. And so again, just two seconds up off the ground, and then two seconds back down. And if our goal is to get back to running, we can use some mountain climber variations to get the plantar fascia used to those loads. So first we can use some furniture sliders, and then we'll just do mountain climbers where we're just sliding our legs, getting our plantar fascia used to that stretch. And then we can progress to without the furniture sliders here, so that we're getting used to stretching that plantar fascia under some load before we go back into running. Hopefully this video on plantar fasciitis was helpful. If it was, give this video a big thumbs up. It'll help other people dealing with plantar fasciitis find this video. If you want to see more of my content, hit the subscribe button icon somewhere over here. And I'll see you guys in the next video.